Monday morning. Got to get back to it, and we are on election watch right now. We're only a few days from the uh, provincial election, which of course is on Thursday. And a lot of people, you know, less than half of, just a little less than half of Ontarians who are eligible to vote even bother to go out voting. Um, a lot of people say it's because they just don't think there's a choice. But maybe the fact there is no choice could be your choice, and you can still go and vote and express that. Here's Winston to explain what, what I mean. That's right. Yeah, there's a website that popped up online. It's called declineyourvote.ca. And we're going to click into that and take a look. This is the website and what it's all about. It's the idea of submitting a vote and letting people know that you showed up and that you do want to voice your opinion, but none of the uh, candidates are, are uh, your choice. So declineyourvote.ca, uh, it shows that within the uh, Elections Act, it says an elector who has received a ballot and returns it to the Oops, oh, sorry I just, I, just uh, I, I can't do that can I not you know how to do, to do this thing I don't <laughs> um, returning uh, officer declining to vote forfeits the right to vote and the deputy returning the officer shall immediately write the word decline so they separate these votes from the uh, rejected votes so it is its own category and they do count it and they log it so you are telling them that that, that I voted because a rejected vote you have to understand uh, they still count rejected votes but but they're not counted in, in a political way. They're counted because someone may have scrawled on it or ripped it by mistake. So or, those are spoiled you, ballots. Yeah, you, you can't really say that, that, oh, they're saying one thing or another. They may have just made a mistake in how they voted, tried to erase something. But this will actually be a number saying these are the number of people who said, I, I don't see a choice here. That's right. And there's it's interesting. There's something on social media, too, that's causing a lot of reaction. And it's voting none of the above. This is a new party that just showed up. Um, and this is their Facebook page, none of the above party of Ontario. So it is not a new option on all ballots. It is an option on eight parties in Ontario, and this is it here. It's Mississauga, Arendelle, eight, Streetsville, eight, ridings, yeah. eight different ridings here, and you will find a none of the above party, similar concept where you are telling them that I'm choosing to vote none of, none of the above, but it is causing a lot of social media reaction. A lot of people are saying that, um, if we take a look at this Facebook post, I, I will still go about, or sorry, go and vote, but I will not put anyone's name as they are still a bunch of selfish liars. I was given the privilege to vote, but to one who deserves it. But uh, uh, other people are saying that you are given the privilege to vote. It is a right for you to vote in Canada. You should go out and do it anyway. Oh, most likely, most definitely. In fact, you know what? I just had D-Day celebrations on uh, to mark yeah. the 70th anniversary of D-Day. You know, we always have to remember we've been fighting for our freedom for a long time, and uh, you know, your voting is your chance to say, okay, I respect that freedom, that's right. and, and that's my duty is to go out and vote. But less than half. Of you actually will, and that's very sad. So thousands, please go out and vote on uh, on Thursday. Thousands of tweets trending, hashtag trending on BT. We want your comments. We're going to track that and continue that conversation online right now. All right, uh, let's vote for a problem-free morning on the roads. Here's Jennifer. <laughs>